Welcome everyone, thank you for joining me for another painting breakdown episode. In this episode, let's explore some paintings from Franz Bischoff. I've actually seen some of his paintings down at the Irvine Museum in Southern California. Very strong work, bold colors, I really liked his work, so um, let's check it out. I have four paintings open here, I could not pare it down to just three unfortunately, so let's get into these. First off, we have this seascape, very classic kind of coastal seascape. Uh, nice orange rocks lit up, great ocean waves. You can see that the composition leads you back into this distance. So a very strong composition, very strong diagonal here, uh, back leading back into this distance. So that's one of the focal points there, kind of leads you back. And obviously the strong light here on this rock is one of the other focal points. And we kind of have two big masses here, diagonally opposed from each other. So this big mass of rocks here actually helps to create depth, excuse me, create depth, and also creates balance. It balances out this big mass of rocks on this top right side. So if we did not have this little bit of rock here in the corner, it would seem completely unbalanced. So I like how he balances the composition. And this is just my interpretation of, of what I'm seeing here. I'm trying to figure out like how he went about designing this. And I, I think he kind of balanced out this composition. And then this wave kind of crashing into this rock here just creates more tension coming this way. These waves coming up these rocks uh, creates tension against, you know, this big area of rocks that really dominates the entire painting, the entire composition. Um, obviously he uses values here to create some depth, but mostly scale, mostly scale. We see the largest bits of rock on the right side and on the left side here in the foreground being the largest. But notice when we, let's break this down into black and white because that always helps us see the values. Uh, notice the strong value pattern where the lightest lights are. We have the sky, but also the ocean, the ocean is the lightest part here of this scene. And that, that helps to create, I mean, that's what this painting is about, these rocks and the ocean, kind of that tension that the ocean creates against these rocks, kind of always uh, the battle between the ocean waves and the rocks. But notice, look at this, this is always interesting. Even though this is way off in the distance, this tree line, it's dark. So right there, right away, he's showing that these trees are most likely in shadow. Let's take this off. So most likely that group of trees is in shadow. And also what he shows is that the uprights in the scene are the darkest plane. And this rock here in the foreground, this is the darkest plane as well, but it's mostly an upright rock. So these uprights that we're seeing here and uh, these upright rocks here in the middle ground have a lot of purple in them because they're they're kind of reflecting the ocean in the sky bouncing off the ocean and reflecting back up into these rocks creating some nice purples blues things like that so the way i just think it's interesting that most artists would think okay it's in the distance so let's lighten it up let's create this this distance but let's see what would happen if i did lighten that up a bit so if i'm going to paint this a little bit lighter and i'm just changing the value a bit here I don't think it gives that that same feeling, and I, the reason uh, it doesn't it has way less contrast now. When we look at this 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 whole dark this dark area back here, this dark tree line actually helps to create contrast against these lighter areas of rock. So very clever the way he uh, kind of just design this whole scene and use the colors and the value. Notice that all of his values are very on the dark side because there's a lot of, even in the lights, that is these oranges on the rocks in the light. It's a very dark type of light. It's still not completely white. It's not very light. So he creates, he has a lot of color, very strong color. Let's move on to the next painting here. Now this is one I wanted to talk about because of the color harmony. So looking at just the color scheme here that he kind of created these reds and greens and then also in between those reds and greens he has these yellowy orange tans. 
So that's also, it's, it's actually, when looking at this, you could say it's complementary color scheme with the reds and the greens. A little bit of purpley blue back here just to kind of catch your eye, get the ocean right there. But also what it actually is is, is an analogous color scheme. All these colors are very close to each other on the color wheel. So we have red, orange, yellow, and then it goes right into the greens. And then these browns and kind of violety purples are just an offshoot of the orange with the warm colors, the reds, the oranges, the warms. So this is a very interesting color scheme and it's, I, I kind of, I love it. Little bits of blue here, kind of reflecting, reflected light from the sky. You know, obviously this isn't a super realistic painting, but it still comes across as a realistic scene. I mean, when we, when we look at this, as humans, we know that these are cypress trees right along the coast. Um, we know that there's kind of tree roots here at the bottom and rocks and the ground. But he uses, he created a certain amount of colors that he was going to use for this painting. And uh, it just works. I, th I think it really works. And I, I really enjoy the colors here. And that's kind of what I think he was what he tries to capture in his work is that mood in the in the motion of a feeling that you get when you're looking at a landscape when you're out there in nature it's not about what actually is out there it's how you feel about it and see little bits of purple here as well so he's kind of creating trying to create the harmony to get this blue back here to work but actually that little bit of blue is actually complementary to this entire scene because most of the scene is actually warm. He has warm greens, warm yellows, warm oranges and reds. And then he has this the sky, which is kind of this pink, cooler color, and then this blue. So very, very interesting painting. Really enjoy this one. Let's move on to the next. Um, but before we do actually, I mean, just looking at the way he designed these trees, uh, it's, it's, it's very interesting. I'm not sure that there's any one area he's really wanting you to look at but I, I i like that most of his trees are all going in different directions he has these branches going out uh there's different sizes there's varying shapes back here there's smaller trees uh so he's adding a little bit of depth and distance here even just with this tree line and obviously off to the right here is smaller trees silhouetted off in the background more toward the ocean, but I, I think one area he probably wanted to focus on was this light coming through the tops of the trees there. Um, that's kind of really the, the main point of contrast there. The lightest lights uh, are in that area. So I think he was trying to create like, um, you know, just that feeling of light coming through the trees. And I, I think it really works. I really enjoy this painting. So let's move on to the next one here now. Some more cypress trees here right next to the coast. And once again, very strong colors. Let's break this down into black and white once again. We can see there that even the areas of light, like on these trees, on the ground and the rocks in the distance, all of the areas of light are like a middle ground value, a middle value. So let's, let's see how, how light and dark those are. Yeah, those are like a value four or five. And that's, that's in the light. And those are like yellows and oranges. So he's definitely using very strong color. That's something to kind of learn from. And that's something I'm trying to work in towards in my paintings is, is giving that sense of, of really strong color. But also still can, keeping it natural looking. This, this doesn't look like uh, a fantasy type of scene. We know that um, this can happen in real life. Like this, this very warm light right near the ocean. And also what I was going to say is that the very strong light that he has is a, a great color scheme. Once again, these warms versus all of these cools, these cooler blues, uh, blue in the sky. And then he has these, every you know, the land masses and everything are completely warm. Uh, oranges, warm greens. Look at the greens that he uses. It's very, very warm. A lot of red in those greens. I mean, they're almost like an, an orange green. It's not, it's almost like a brown. It's not even a green, but that happens in nature. We see that in nature. There's a lot of red in nature and uh, the composition here uh, has a lot of depth. 
So the, this foreground plane of trees, kind of cutting the painting in half, but it still works to me. It's not that big a deal that it's almost in the middle. You know, you don't always have to follow the rule of thirds because the the interesting thing about this painting is that he has this this plane of rocks jutting out. So it creates this this kind of flow, you know, this interesting flow. It gets your eye to move around into this depth and then up into these clouds and these trees. So there's a lot happening here. And uh, I love just the little accents of, of blues and purples in this foreground contrasting against these warm colors. That's something I'm looking forward to exploring in, in my paintings is kind of this warm and cool, very strong colors, but still keeping all these natural browns, these natural gray tones. As we can see here on the trees, he has these browns and grays. You know, he just, it, it basically has a bias, either warm or cool you know, a strong bias. So anyway, let's, let's move on to the last painting here. This is one that I wanted to touch on because once again, just like the previous painting, very strong color, very strong sense of, of a color scheme. These oranges, blues, complementary color scheme. But also within the light tones, once again, he has kind of that analogous feeling going on. He has these greens and these greens, some of them seem like they're cooler, and then some of them seem like they're warmer. So he has a variety, variety of value, but a, a lot of warmth in this scene, as we can see here, a lot of gold and light, uh, especially on the clouds back in the background. We see a lot of gold and light on these clouds. So this is obviously in the evening. This is in the evening. These shadows on the trees are long, very blue, very cool shadows, and that's that's kind of what attracts your eye. You know, that's one of the, it's kind of the focal point I think in this painting is these trees back here, this grouping of trees. There's a lot of interesting shapes and there's a lot of coolness and, and, and a little bit of warmth, but that's really the only spot of, of cool uh, in the painting. So it, it really contrasts with all this warm and it balances out all that warmth. And I mean, look at the ocean down here in the foreground. Look how dark that blue is compared to the shadows, the reflected light and the shadows up here. So completely different. And what he does is by having this, this dark ocean and these darker rocks, it keeps, it adds a lot of depth. It keeps this closer to the viewer. And then as it moves back, we have light and then it, these shadows are much lighter, much bluer, reflected light from the sky. And the interesting thing here is he has this little cove right here. So your eye is able to kind of move through the painting uh, that way. You know, you can move up these rocks this way, move up these rock shapes and down the hills, or your eye can follow this little cove, this opening. And once again, there's that rock off to the, the front bottom left corner, creating even more depth, uh, pushing the rest of the scene back even further. But this little cove kind of gives you a way to open up and go into the painting. But yeah, I really, I really love his work. I mean, the strong colors. This one obviously is kind of the most natural type of scene. Looks like it's midday type of lighting. Uh, the rest are kind of very stylized uh, in the way that their colors are in the, in the time of day. Um, very strong statements that he's making here in his painting. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my Patreon down in the description below. In other ways, you can support my channel. I appreciate it. Keep on painting or drawing. Don't get discouraged. Take care of yourself. Peace.